Good morning, gentlemen. We are here today on the uh, fourth segment, the fourth halacha of Think Before You Speak series, The Laws of Shmirat HaLashon. And this class, Lilui Nishmat, the Hafez Chaim, Zechet Tzadik Lebracha, and it is dedicated for the Yeshua of our Chabura and for all in Klal Yisrael who need Yeshuaot, and also for Chaim Davidov and Chayesara, Hashem shall watch over and protect them and send Yeshuaot. And specifically today, Hashem should send my father, Yitzhak Nisim ben Luna, or Afur Shalema, and Hatzlacha, and Siyat Deshmaya on the operation that he's going into. Hashem should cure him, and Hashem should heal him. Amen. Today's halacha, the title, That's My Kid. Now guys, I want to go back to the days that you probably remember of any award-giving ceremony. It could be in school, when it came to a graduation. It could be at the end of the summer in camp, on the big banquet, when they would give out awards to all different kids. And the parents are there present. Do you know that over the years I've watched that so many awards were given out to kids when they might have not really deserved it fully. But in order to strengthen the boy, to boost him, specifically to give him that confidence to make him look good in the eye of the public, was something that we capitalized over the years. We gave VIP awards and MVP awards and awards for Midot and awards for all different types of wonderful areas just to make sure that everyone in that ceremony comes out with an award. And I remember one time a parent walked up to me and said, I know that my kid didn't play as well as the award you just represented him at the end of the summer, but you don't know what it meant to me that you made my son look good in the eyes of the people. Gentlemen, the great Yisod of Shmirat HaLashon, the great prohibition against speaking bad against other people, is Hashem telling you, it's not just that I don't want you to speak bad about my kid, but I don't want you, Chas Shalom, to cause my son to look bad in front of others as well. His reputation is on the line. His family is on the line. If you're going to say that, what, it's gonna, what is it gonna make my kid look like? It's not just the act of speaking that Lashon Hara is vile, but it's the result that come out of what you said. You made my kid look bad. That's doubly the fury behind the Avera of Lashon Hara as well. The results, not just the act. And if this is the case, I think you can understand today's halachot wonderfully. This is why Hafez Chaim tells us, be very careful, refrain from speaking Lashon Hara, even if your reputation is on the line. Even if by not saying the Lashon Hara, you're gonna end up looking like a fool. So you're going to say Lashon Hara to kind of protect your own reputation. Don't say it. Don't make my kid look bad. Or even maybe you're going to say the Lashon Hara to get somebody else from not hating you because you want to protect yourself in a certain way. And by doing so, you have to speak Lashon Hara. Forbidden. Don't make someone else look bad. Even if it's at the expense, your reputation, or even the feelings of sometimes other people. It's because of this that the Chafetz Chaim goes on and says that you must refrain from Lashon Hara even when it's in the written word, even if you're not speaking. Remember what we said, it's not about the act of speaking, it's about the results that you caused through giving off a negative message about one of my kids. And therefore, to display written material that will make someone else look bad is Lashon Hara, and it's not allowed. Even facial expressions. When you make a facial expression and give off that somebody else is not up to par, or somebody else is not as good as they look, or a facial expression like that was lousy, these facial expressions, although they're not an act of speaking, but the result is the same. You made my kid look bad 
through those facial expressions, that is also considered Lashon Hara. Even if a person includes themselves in the Lashon Hara, Sometimes people think, what do you mean? But I said the story over and I was a part of it. And I put myself down at the time together with the other person. Even if he demeans his own self, it's still Lashon Ara because the results still came out that you made someone else look bad and that someone else is God's kid. Don't you make my kid look bad. That's my kid. I want you to make him look good. Do you have kids? Do you have siblings? Do you have parents? Do you have loved ones? Hashem says, listen to me well. The laws of Shemirat HaLashon is really to represent my kids the way you would want someone to represent yours. Lahefech! Make my kids look good. Don't put them down. And you'll see what I'll do for yours. Thank you for listening.